is for the night and the most westerly point on the Amalfi Coast. But there's somewhere I want to see on the way. The first stop on my drive is Mount Vesuvius, Italy's most famous volcano. Now it's certain to erupt again at some stage. Come on baby, come on. Not really getting into that second gear yet. Let's hope my classic cars can conk out. Mount Vesuvius is about half an hour's drive inland from Naples, and although I've got a long journey ahead, it really is worth stopping off for. The volcano dominates the Bay of Naples and has erupted a hundred times, most recently in 1944. It's currently overdue another eruption. A visit to Vesuvius with a guide like Pompileo costs just five pounds. I didn't expect to see uh, any so activity. Means, uh, that this volcano it is still active. It is an active volcano, very dangerous. Yes, lying dormant, as we say. Yes. She is dormant, but she could blow at any moment. Vesuvius famously erupted in AD 79, burying the people of Pompeii under seven meters of boiling ash. The town was frozen in time, preserved until it was rediscovered 1,500 years later, and it now exists as an amazing record of life at that time. A visit to the site will cost you about £8.50. So do you think uh, when she blows again, she will cause the same devastation as she did before when the whole of Pompeii was, oh. Pompeii was buried beneath yes. the volcanic ash? <laughs> you have to know that uh, this area is very dangerous. They live about 800,000 people. So 800,000 people potentially could be buried beneath her the next time she blows again. I know it's not likely to erupt now, this moment, but you do imagine in your head what you would do 